Alright, hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Lang, and I'm rocking out in the Yen the Wang. I've got an AC-20, two medium pulse. This is a, um, interesting mech, because I see a lot of people taking standards with it. Um, I have an XL in it. I've go 106.9 kph. Now you might be wondering, Phil, XL, medium. I think some mechs just sort of, you need it. I think, uh, some people sort of discount, uh, survivability being speed and maneuverability, and I think those are big for mediums. But uh, for those that don't know, this is post quirkening, if you will. So this uh, particular battle mech has an AC-20 bonus uh, for velocity, cooldown, and range. So keep that in mind if you'll notice the range 351 meters on that AC-20. I do have the uh, cooldown and range mod for this, uh, level 5s for the AC-20. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wait for my friendlies here. There is the new Ice Ferret. The thing is fast 142.6 kph looks like we have some targets in echo 7 could make my way over here we have a timberwolf fall by himself over there i don't know what he's doing i do have a uh, medium pulse lasers on this and uh, 28 rounds of ac20 i almost feel like Maybe dropping the medium poles, getting that two extra tons, putting it towards ammo, but I didn't. The main reason being is when you do run out, I'd prefer to at least have the damage of the medium poles. I'm gonna go up here and help these guys. Potentially. If they have something come up here. It's... Speaking of which. Oh, yeah. He just got. Oh, he's dropping already. Get cover. Use the ceiling. Cover. Alright, that Ice Ferret is almost knocked out of action there. Just... Uh, got multiple targets off in the distance. I'm gonna go ahead and hook left here. Might have a target of two of opportunity. If I can get over these pillars, which I can't. It's interesting, those Jaegers are running Goss setups instead of the AC uh, benefits that particular uh, mech may have, but high profile uh, ballistics, you can't blame them. Does make for some uh, really good uh, Goss platforms. Follow the size ferret right here. Like I said, those things are fast, 142 point KPH. I just feel like a lot of people are going to go strictly energy on them. They do sort of, uh, I think just because of the, the tonnage you have to play with them, I think that's, you just sort of have to. All right, we had a target over here. Oh, we can play. Just a boar's head. I'm gonna go after the right torso. This boar's head has an AC 10 and medium pulse laser bonus. So I just wanna swing him out wide here. He's gonna concentrate on me, that's fine. Showing his back, there he goes, crit through. I'm riding that line with heat, that's fine. And crossed over there. <laughs> Strategic shutdown. And he's down. Alright, let's go ahead and flank these guys. Got a nice squad here, an ice ferret, blackjack, and myself. Looks like we have an atlas coming in in the rear as well. The nice thing with these uh, velocity increases is you don't have to lead your targets as much. Go after this guy's rear. And there we go, another uh, kill shot. And Jenner... Oh, no. <laughs> Trying to line up a shot, couldn't get it. E6, we have a dire wolf apparently. Orion, oh, there he is. 351 meters, bam. Get the full amount of damage there. Don't want to waste shots if I can help it. And he's down. One thing to note about the uh, Centurion is it does have a armor and internal structure. It has an armor buff to the left arm, 
It has internal structure to the right arm, so make sure to utilize that. You're gonna take, you're gonna be able to take a few more hits on that right arm, um, albeit. If you do take hits on that right arm, potentially lose an AC-20, but that is just the way it is. Anyways, guys, this is the Yen the Wang post quirks. And as you can see, 689, that was quite fun. I know a lot of familiar names in here, including Colonel O'Neill and a few others. Anyways, guys, check this out. Let me know your builds and if you like this particular mech and setup. Until next time, Mech Warriors.